Bridges. Everybody wants to know about Bridges. Yeah, I've gotten a couple people asking about Bridges, and I was going to wait to get there till we get through uh, what I consider to be the important uh, elements of songwriting, but we're almost there, so I'll, I'll touch on Bridges a little bit here. So, Bridges to me are the true sign of a great writer. If you're really stupendous as a songwriter, your bridges make the difference. If you look at the great songs of all time, it's usually the bridges that take them over the top. And remember when I talked about recognition, revelation, transcendence, and liberation, the bridge is the transcendence part, right? That's the part. And it literally is a bridge. It takes you from one section to the next and is the bridge from the first two acts of the song to the final act, the last chorus. You really do have to think of it in respect to film uh, and script writing, because I do, and many people do as well, that there are three acts and sometimes four acts in a great movie or a song. And the bridge is what gets you to the final act. So it is literally a bridge, but you have to find a way to make it musically interesting and different from the first couple verses and the chorus. It's got to be a hook unto itself. Many times it's got to be as hooky as the chorus, but different. But it's also got to be a lift. It's got to lift you into that final chorus, both figuratively and metaphorically, and literally as a musical passage. So it's very, very challenging. So how do you do that? Well, somebody mentioned, can you change keys? Yes, you can change keys. You can change keys cleverly so that when you change the key, it still somehow resolves relatively to your tonic of the key that you're in. That's one way to do it. Someone else suggested, can you do different time signatures? Yes, you can, but that's very challenging. I would suggest if you do use time signatures, make it super clever and almost funny, but that it doesn't distract from the flow of the song. So if you're in 4-4, four, four, but you want to go to, I don't know, 7-4 or 5-4, make it brief and make it be like, oh, like one of those moments, and then get back to 4-4 four, four, or 3-4, whatever your song is in. So yes, you can change, but I would use it as a transition to change the meter of the song uh, Otherwise, it can be very distracting. And one more thing I want to say, because we're limited on time, because we have only under five minutes to do each one of these segments. I will get back to do more bridges later. But one person I want you to study, because this guy, yes, he's a friend of mine, but he's one of the all-time great bridge writers, is J.D. Souther. He wrote the bridge on the Eagles' Best of My Love, number one hit. He wrote the bridge on Don Henley's Heart of the Matter, number one hit. And he wrote a whole bunch of other classic songs on his own. But his bridges are just works of art. Sometimes they change key slightly. Sometimes they change chords in unique and interesting ways without in, uh, interfering with the flow. And he always will come up with an interesting musical idea that brings you back and gets you that transcendence and to that last chorus without taking your ear away from the point and using very, very smart lyrics to do so. Listen to Best of My Love and Heart of the Matter and how they come out of that bridge into the last part of the song. Just genius. So J.D. Souther, Tom Petty's another one, of course, the Beatles and Beach Boys. But we'll do more on bridges later. <laughs> 